so I thought I'd do something different tonight. Uh, when I get to a... I'm just running around Churchill and I'm going to do a bit of geocaching. I'm going to Charlie's Circuit to begin with. And once I get there, I'm going to see how long it takes me to find it and go from there. Uh, might be meeting up with Nathan at about 7.30, which is, I think, an hour or so away. I'm not sure what the time is right now. Uh, yeah, it should be something fun, something to just get some kilometres in the legs. I'm not after anything serious. Just want to have some fun. Um, yeah, anyway, heading to Charlie's Circuit, and I'll see you when I get there. Ah. So there's a bit here, there is a target thing just there, maybe that's what it's about. I wonder if I have to go to the other side of the fence now. Yeah, occasion. <laughs> Nice if uh, there weren't so many randoms here. So it's on a magnetic base. Would have thought it'd be in here, wouldn't you? that in there no that just keeps going all right so for 14 minutes I've been looking for this case I'm not getting many case done tonight um, I'm going to find another case I know I can keep doing loops around Churchill and go from there I'll come back to this one again one day and see if I can find it. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to look on the phone for the next one. Go from there. Bye. Greetings all. Time for the second geocache. I'm within 50 metres of it as we speak. This is really part of Churchill I haven't been to in a long time. I've kind of driven past here, but I've never actually come into here for a while. Uh, so this cache is in Churchill, and it is called the Sound of Subterranea. So, it says I'm getting close. Okay, about this geocache, a local landscape group provided this pleasant nature reserve walking track in 1996. Animals and birds have been provided with shelters scattered along the several kilometres the truck runs through Gaskin Park South in Churchill. Bring your own pen. This cache is a Sistema 
with log and usually small swaps. It's always hard to avoid creating geo trails in bush situations like this. There's usually long grass in the area until the council mows or clears it. Keep out for creepy crawlies. The cache is hidden low down on the side of an ivy covered structure. So, so what's ivy? Yeah. North. Ah, there's a thing right there. Sitting here looking in the totally wrong spot. I'm like, there's no ivy covered structure. Ah, here we go. I found it. Yeah. Awesome find. I love it. There we go people, first cage for the night. Let me put this back on. And let's see what's in here. So, I'll turn my phone off otherwise I'm going to lose charge. Okay, so we have a shell, a sinker. We have a Woolworths, don't forget your green bags token thing, and a leaf, maple leaf. They don't know. I don't even know what my name is on this, so let me get my trusty pen from Warrigal Toyota, and let's go 653. on the 10 of the first Buffalo Briggsy Thank you for the cash Love it I'll put these back in here And you know what, I've got a couple of pens. I'm going to leave this one in here for future people. And I'm going to put it back exactly where I got it from. I'll watch the next case. Okay. Oops. Might help if I turn my charger on. Yeah. Yeah, boy. So now, I believe there's a cache here. I'll just have a look. Okay. This cache is called Welcome to Churchill. It is. I think it's up that way. No. About. A simple drive-by cage to welcome you to our hometown. Let's do this, eh? Let's start that again. A simple drive-by cage to welcome you to our hometown. This area known... This... The area, now known as Churchill, was originally named Hazelwood, but was renamed after Sir Winston Churchill's death. The change of name has not been without its critics and residents who pushed 
hard to restore the Hazelwood name were finally heard in 1989 when the town was asked to vote on whether the town would be renamed to Hazelwood or stay as Churchill. The name Churchill won by narrow vote. The town has a unique uh, blah blah blah. It has a lot of things. There are several primary schools. I'm guessing it's like right on the back of one of these signs. There's so much text here. There's nothing in those. Still recorded. Yep, it is. Let's go back. I guess it's in one of those holes. Ah! I has found it! I'll get there. If I could do this one handed. Okay. Oops. Not very good at multitasking here. Okay, it's a little capsule. It's got people that have written on it. I'm not going to write in it. I'm going to leave it at that. This is quite a nice little cache. I like it. So my success rate is two out of four for caches tonight. It's good to have found this one. I shall log it. I'll put this back here. I'm sure people are seeing where it is. Maybe. There's a hint. It's right there. I talked it up about where it could be and it was where I thought it would be. So anyway, onwards to Lake Highland. Greetings all. So it's the end of my geocaching adventures for tonight. I have found two geocaches out of four. I've gone for a walk with Nathan and now I'm listening to Spotify and heading back home now. So thank you for watching this video. If you've stuck with it all the way through, kudos. Uh, so far I've done just for running purposes, 8.2 k's, it'll be 8.8 .8 roughly by the time I get back home. Uh, actually less than that, maybe. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, all that stuff. Hey.